Hello, what are your wildcats? This is your art teacher, Jen, bringing you another art, weekly art drawing. Today we are celebrating spring. There's so many fun spring activities in your weekly art assignment. Um, today I'm going to show you how to draw a sunflower. I have a nice trick to show you how to get all those petals nice and even. Now remember, if I'm going too fast, you can pause the video, rewind it, whatever you need to do. We're going to put our paper in the hamburger style portrait. Okay. We're gonna start by drawing a circle in the middle of our paper. That's gonna be the center of our sunflower. We're gonna draw a beautiful sunflower in honor of spring. Now, um, the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the sunflower's face. Two more circles. Let's go ahead and put a circle inside a circle inside and give him a cute face. And then we're going to give a cute little smile. Cute. All right. Now let's talk about petals. It's really hard sometimes to draw petals even. I don't know about you, but mine get all lopsided. So what I do is I draw at least 15 lines all the way around. One, two, three, four. I make my lines pretty long too because some flowers have long petals. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So I drew a few more. Fifteen at least. You might have to add, I don't know, up to twenty. You have to see. And then what you're going to do to each line is you're going to go from the tip and draw it back to the center. And that's going to help you make your petals nice and neat and fun fact if you look at sunflower petals up close they actually have a line in the center of each petal sometimes they have more than one line so it looks very realistic realistic adorable and a perfect celebration of spring i rotate my paper around so that it's easier for me to draw the lines. Takes a little bit of time, but it is worth it. Let me tell you, it looks really good. Look at that. Beautiful sunflower. Now he needs a stem. So I'm going to go from here and I'm going to kind of draw it all the way to the edge of the paper. And then I'm going to draw another one. Their stems are pretty thick because sunflowers can grow up to like six feet tall, some of them. It's pretty awesome. Now I'm going to add a stem, I mean a leaf to the stem. Do a little leaf lines like that. Add another one. You can add as many as you want. I'll add another one down here. And that's pretty much it. You could add things to the background. You could draw more than one flower. You don't have to color, but I'm going to show you a few things. I'm going to use some oil pastels. And I'm gonna color the petals yellow because they are sunflowers, yellow flowers named after the sun because they're so pretty, yellow. Feels good to color. But it would feel a lot better if I was coloring with you guys, that's for sure. But it's fun to do it on video too. See how I'm rotating my paper around? It makes it faster when you're coloring. You do a little rotating. Rotate. Remember, if you want to color but you don't have oil pastels, that's fine. You can just use whatever you have. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this darker yellow and I'm going to do some blending. You know how much I love to do some blending. I'm just going to add some other yellows to add kind of like dimension, variety, and just make sure the picture look more realistic and more interesting the more elements you add to it. And we're going to color the stem green. I wish I had that cool function, fast forward coloring like Art Hub does, but alas, I do not. 
I have this funny little bendable arm that holds my phone above me, and that's how I am recording. Once again, I am using a different green to blend into my other green because it just looks really cool. Other things you could do if you had watercolors, you could paint the background, but no worries if you don't. I'm going to add a little bit of brown to the center because that's what their centers look like. They're kind of brownish. Sometimes they're brownish, yellowish, green, all kinds of things, lots of varieties. And then I'm going to take that brownish yellow and I'm going to smush it into the other color. I'm going to try not to color over the eyes. Looking good. All right. And that's it. That is our lesson for this week. A beautiful sunflower for spring. I hope you had fun. I miss you guys, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.